Dr. Nana. Say my name, say my name. Hello, people. And young. <laughs> okay, so today, I'm going to be giving you the rundown, the tete a tete. I don't think I used that right. The truth of all things K drama, including my recommendations, classifications, K terminologies, and cliches. Let's go. Okay. So what is a K-drama? The amount of times I have heard this question, it is a Korean drama. Korean drama. You see, I don't think it's that difficult, really. So the episodes usually last about an hour each, roughly, and are usually 16 episodes or more recently, 32, 30 minute episodes. So it's like the same time, but just cut in half. When I start a good K-drama, you usually won't hear from me from at least, for at least, when I start a good K-drama, you won't hear from me for at least three days, which is the shortest amount of time it has ever taken me to complete a K-drama. If you are a binger by nature, you're gonna love them, but your friends and family probably won't. I warned you. Okay, K terminology. So if this is like your first time ever watching a K drama or you've watched like one or two and you're like just a little bit confused, there's some things that they say that I think are really important to know that I didn't know I had to learn the hard way. And if I had just watched my own video, I would know. So let's go. Okay, so the first one is Sarangye. Okay, I'm gonna try my best with the Korean pronunciations, but obviously I am not Korean. What? But I will try. Sarangye, it means I love you. Aww. I think that is fair enough. They say it a lot, especially if you're in the romance, the romance genre like me, which I am. Okay, skinship. Okay, I mentioned this in my other video. If you watched it, watch it. Um, and I force people to look it up, but I'm gonna explain it here because you're good enough to come watch this video. And it basically means like, like relationship, but take out the relation and put skin. So any skin on skin. So like hand holding, head pat, that's not skin, but it counts. And like other stuff, you know. That's what skinship is. And you probably hear it in like, you probably see it in like recommendations or other videos that you watch in relation to K-dramas. Okay, second lead syndrome. Okay, this is real. This is what happens when the second lead, which there always is a second lead, is hotter or nicer than the first lead. And you secretly just want the main girl to be with him. But you, you, you can't have that because he's too nice. And you know it. You know it. You're watching it. And you know that it's not going to be Choi Si Won. And it's going to be Park So Joon. And you, you can't help it. Because even though you love Park So Joon, Choi Si Won is just so not. Okay. It's basically. It's sad. But it happens. That, yeah. Okay. Chaebol. So a chaebol is a Korean rich person. Okay. This is what I want. This is what I want in life, not to be, but to marry. I want to marry a chaebol, and it's basically like when the family owns this really big business, and they're probably gonna pass it down to their their child. If you're lucky, the only child that is the chaebol that right there and most k-dramas have at least one chaebol in it most likely the main guy or in more recent ones more modern ones it could be the main girl if you're lucky okay fighting this is basically it, it could be fighting and it can be it could be fighting but it's basically just like like good luck but like not it's like cheering someone on you know when they say fighting in in Chinese dramas, they say Jaya. I probably said that really badly, and all my Chinese friends are gonna like kill me after this video. But I wanted to say it. But yeah, it's like good luck, like, like hang in there kind of thing. It's like all of that rolled into one nice, cute little sentence, a sit phrase. So Koreans also have historical dramas, which are probably going to be based in the Goryeo or the Joseon era. K 
Okay, so the things you need to know if you're gonna watch a drama in this in this era is that there are these things called eunuchs. I don't know if you know about it. I didn't know about them. They usually wear like this green robe and like this hat, and they don't they don't have their their things were cut off. You, you know what I mean? Um, then there's gonna be like the king's advisors who usually wear red. I think in the Jerusalem era and there's always going to be that one advisor the lead advisor that is like secretly puppet heading the king and ruling the kingdom and is planning mutiny so if you enjoy things like that go ahead and watch them but if you don't which i don't um i will at some point make a list of like the 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 ones that go back in the past to those eras that don't focus on some evil guy that is the best friend of the king but the king doesn't know that he secretly hates him. That is very stressful. Okay, so Oppa, Ani, Nuna, Hyung. Okay, so Oppa is like in English, we would literally translate it to older brother. But Koreans use it when they're referring to like an older brother or an older male friend or lover. Oh. In a gay drama, you will ex you will meet Opa three times. If it's the person's actual older brother, um, the person's boyfriend or older friend, or someone they've never met before but are using subconsciously or consciously to make the guy they actually like jealous. Opa, Opa and Ani are what girls use. So girl to boy Opa, girl to girl Ani. Nuna and Hyung is what boys use. So boy to girl, Nuna, boy to boy, Hyung. Um, that's that. Okay, soju. Soju is alcohol, but Korean alcohol that they all drink in every K-drama I have ever watched. And I have watched a lot. You just need to know that. I usually have soju in the house to show you, but it's like quarantine and I've been too scared to go all the way to the, to the Korean shop near me, which is not that near me, to buy my soju. So I'll just put a picture of soju. Araba. Okay, so they say Araba a lot. And when I first watched K-dramas, I was like, what the heck is an Alba? Like they'd be like, are you going to your Alba? Are you an Alba saying? I'm like, oh, what is Alba? And Alba basically means part-timer. So if someone has an Alba, <laughs> they're probably going to a part-time job. And if they're an Alba saying, they're probably a part-timer. Okay, also Korean people refer to people with their, by their titles. So they don't say Mr. Smith, they say CEO Smith or just CEO. So you will probably hear a lot of Sajangnim or Kwajangnim, Kwajangnim. <laughs> Anything with Nim, you know, at the end, it's probably a title and not the person's actual name. That was really confusing, especially because the subtitles, they just write like either C or the name. They don't really like they don't really make that clear so yeah what to expect when you're expecting <laughs> what to expect when you're watching a k-drama um unbelievable insane mind-blowing plot twists that you would never think of it's like a whole other world and it may seem like really like like out there or different but once you get into that world, you really understand how special it is and why so many people go into it. I would definitely recommend watching at least one K-drama. Just, just one. Just one. K-dramas also come in many different shapes and sizes. So even within romance, there are like sub-genres <laughs> sub like crime, fantasy, and office, and other romance things so if you're really wanting to start out in any of these genres here are some recommendations for crime romance fantasy romance and teen love um there's also a lot more where that came from like if you just google like top 10 k dramas like i'm sure you get some stuff um i would recommend if it's like your first every time watching a k drama i feel like ita one class which was recently came out and i did a review of you would also love if you could if you want to go watch that that'll be nice yeah that'll be that'll be nice <laughs>
어떤 이름이 뭐야? 나는 허윤재 야릇한 기쁨에 취해버려 숨길 수가 없어 어지럽네 맘 믿고 다 버려 널 가지고 싶은 걸 서적방 뜻 거지 날 자극하는 손짓 새까만 슬루엣 날 유혹하는 멍짓 Like hmm 언제나 립스틱 너를 잊혀지지가 않지 아니 그날도 구두를 닦다가 차 급브레이크 소리에 내가 깜짝 놀라서 뛰어가니까 젊은 엄마가 어, 저기 저 길에 쓰러져 있더라고 그대로 Kiss me yeah. 어둠을 걸친 no. 이번엔 Secret 미친 가슴이 터질 것 같이 아, 디스커스팅한 냄새가 나요. 아, 그러니까. 아, 부원장님한테나. 아, 디스커스팅 쉣. 소리 없이 아무도 모르게 놀라 나이처럼 얼어버린 널 달래주고 싶어 춤추는 이 사연 느껴봤기 안최순아 <laughs> so that's it. Thanks for watching. And now that you have the knowledge, go forth into the world, young K-Boos. And fear not the new language or unknown slang or 20 minutes for one scene that you will inevitably have to endure. <laughs>